You're listening to the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce and tech news, presented by Sumo Heavy. Here's your host, Bart Moraz. This is the E-Commerce Minute for October 16th, 2017. IKEA launches a line of foot furniture. If you're like me, you feel like your pet is part of your family. IKEA shares that same feeling and has designed their very first line of pet furniture for your Fido or Tigger. According to IKEA's website, the new collection is called Lerving, which is a Swedish name for Shaggy, and features everything a design-savvy pet owner would need. Beds, scratching posts, bags, bowls, and toys, all designed by animal-loving designers with insight from veterinarians. The decision for IKEA to enter into the pet market is an easy one, as sales for anything pet-related has exploded the last few years. Many retailers have greatly expanded their pet offerings. Stores in the U.S., Canada, France, and Japan will carry the goods, and the line will expand globally next March. Unfortunately, you can't bring your four-legged friend to IKEA to try out the furniture. The only pets allowed in IKEA stores are certified service dogs. Woof, woof. Are the pets are going to put the furniture together? <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, I think they have to hire a task rabbit for that. I don't know, Wait, where's Bella, my bell? I know. You have to hire, hire a task rabbit for that. Because <laughs> Bella would be interesting putting that. Yeah, that would be great. No, um, I think this is this is you know this is great, and I'm surprised they hadn't done it sooner because they have. I, I'm a big fan of IKEA, and I I love their design and and their children's stuff is real whimsical, and the pet stuff is only a natural progression for that. Right, right. So that's kind of interesting. I mean. You know, it's going to be, are they going to name them like after the dogs or weird names too? Uh, it'll be weird Swedish names again, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, you know, it's really incredible how the pet market has exploded. Yeah. Uh, I know that we have clients in that space, but uh, it's really incredible. I mean, there, if, if you're ever, you know, listen, kids, this is your advice for today. If you're ever going to start, uh, you know, any kind of business, do it around pets and do it around rich people's pets because people would die before they would let their dog go without. Trust me on that. <laughs> exactly. You would you would definitely kill for this. So there's Absolutely. That. You know, I mean, here's one stat. Uh, most Americans are pet owners these days, increasing from 53% to 56% between 2009 and 2013, with pets in nearly 67 million households. Think about that. You know, if you get a dollar from each one of those people, you know, you're going to be okay. <laughs> exactly. Uh, the only other thing I have on here is um, now we're getting into the uh, – you know, we always talk about subscription boxes. Uh, so they have BarkBox. Um, you know, I, I think that space is going to really expand. Uh, yeah. I think it's like, I think the big retailers should do it too, like Petco and, and the rest of them crew. Yeah. Um, you know, furniture's a pain in the neck, but Ikea, you know, they've got that flat packaging nailed. So uh, I exactly. A, like I said, it's a perfect thing for them. <laughs> All right. Anything else to add? Oh, that's it. All right. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you in the internet tomorrow. That's it for today. If you like the show, make sure you add us as a favorite and share this with your friends. Please follow us on social media at Sumo Heavy. And finally, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion for the show, call us on Anchor. Until next time, we'll see you on the next e-commerce minute. The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.